Spencer Lazara, MMAinterviews.tv, alongside Johnny Bedford. You've got a big fight this Saturday. You've had a nice layoff. We were just chatting about been a year now. Had some rough a rough go of things, per se. Talk about the, the long road it's been. Uh, yeah, 2012 has been an a unfortunate year for me so far. Uh, we fought December 3rd of last year at the finale of the Ultimate Fighter 14. Uh, came off an impressive win over Godno and was actually scheduled to be the first guy from that season to get the, get the next UFC fight. Was scheduled to fight January the 28th on the UFC on Fox Card in Chicago. Uh, was in Chicago uh, and then Wednesday morning got the phone call that said uh, my opponent couldn't get in the country due to visa issues. I was scheduled to fight Canadian Mitch Gagnon and he couldn't get in the country. So the fight was scratched. Uh, the UFC tried to do the best they could. They paid me my show money. I was thankful for that. Um, and then scheduled me to fight May the 5th on the next Fox card, New Jersey, against another Canadian. So I don't know if it's Canadians or, or, or Fox cards that are bad luck for me, but I ended up about three weeks out from the fight tearing my MCL and uh, was out for about four and a half months doing nothing but rehab. Finally got healthy again in about September. We started calling the UFC, and, and here we are. I'm fighting now December 15th, so it's been a complete year since my last fight. I guess you mentioned that you had your daughter then in April, so at least you had a little bit of time to spend with her, I guess, in those months. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it, it's been great. Uh, my wife and I didn't plan on having a second child, but uh, she's definitely a product of the ultimate fighter, you know, getting locked up in a house for six weeks with nothing but guys. Uh, I came home and made a baby within a couple of days, so... You know, it was unexpected, but it was, it was a great, great, uh, great blessing. You know, we're glad to have her now. Um, I've got two kids at home in Texas and wouldn't change it for the world. And yeah, it, it's been great that, you know, if there's a time for an injury, it, dealing with a, or being home with a, with a newborn baby is always a good time to, to take some time off. So it, it, it was good. And here you are one year later, again in December, again on a tough finale, taking on Marcos Vinicius. Talk about the matchup and uh, what you're looking to do on Saturday night. I think it's a, I think it's a, it's a great matchup for me. Marcos Vinicius, obviously, a, a, a tough guy. He did the Ultimate Fighter Brazil. Um, he's hungry, you know. I think this is the first time in the states, at least to my knowledge, it is. Um, I expect him to bring it, but but I think it's a good matchup for me. I think, I think the UFC knows that 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 I think they like me, and I think they know I'm marketable, and you know I've I've got some some fan exposure from the show, and I think they gave me a favorable matchup here. I'm not taking anything away from Marcus, but. But I think I excel in all, all three areas. I think my, my striking's better. I think my wrestling's definitely better. And even though he's a black belt I, and I'm only a brown belt, I think my jiu-jitsu's better, especially for MMA jiu-jitsu. Well, talk about your preparation, where you've been training and who you've been training with. Uh, I always train at home. You know, I, I own a gym in, in Colleyville, Texas called Fitness Fight Factory. Please check it out on the web, fitnessfightfactory.com. Um, but I cross-train with, with a bunch of different good guys in the Metroplex there. Um, I train every day with Team Takedown with Mark Lehman and Johnny Hendricks and the whole crew over there. Uh, I train at Moeller Mixed Martial Arts, uh, my two main training partners being uh, Will Camposano, UFC vet, and then uh, Undefeated, who's fighting tomorrow night on Axis, uh, Chaz Skelly at 145. So I've got great training partners back in Texas. I try to, you know, get out get out of the state when I can and go train with good guys. I've trained, you know, I went to Virginia with Dustin Pegg, and this was a while back, but I've, I've been to Denver to train with Scott Jorgensen and Joe Warren. So. It, it, it's, it's been hard, you know, this year, you know, I'm used to fighting a lot. I'm a, I'm a veteran in the sport. I've got 40 plus fights and I'm used to fighting pretty regularly. So this year layoff was tough for me, man. So I'm hungrier than ever right now. And, and just this camp is everything's laden up to be perfect, man. I'm, I'm 22 hours from my ends right now and only three and a half over. The weight's falling off. Everything's falling into place for, for Saturday night. I'm, I'm excited. All right. Well, uh, give us a prediction then for what's going to happen on Saturday. Uh, I'm going to stop him. Uh, I don't know when or, or how. You know, he may give up his back and I'll choke him, but I, I, play, I plan on beating him up on my feet, and then if it goes to the ground, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up getting the referee stoppage. I'm, I'm going to hurt him. If it takes me 30 seconds or it takes me 14 minutes, 15 minutes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to inflict damage on him for 15 minutes, and uh, I'm going to impose my will, and I'm going to stop him. All right, looking forward to it. Johnny Bedford takes on Marcus Vinicius this Saturday night live on Fuel TV.